I want to introduce this film from the standpoint of a soldier who was taught to use nuclear weapons and as a diplomat who worked hard for their elimination. As a 21-year-old second lieutenant assigned to Germany, one of my first missions was to guard an atomic cannon, a huge machine that ran around Germany on a couple of trucks. A few years later, as a captain, I was taught how to actually employ this weapon and other similar weapons. I was taught how to determine what the blast effects of such weapons would be, how many people would be killed by the blast, how many buildings would be knocked down. I was also taught what the thermal effects would be, how things would be burned, how people would be burned. I was taught about the radiation effects, and I was taught to plot the fallout pattern that would come from the use of nuclear weapons as the dirt was thrown up into the sky and spread out across the landscape. And then I became chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in 1989, and I had 28,000 nuclear weapons under my supervision. And every morning, I looked to see where the Russian submarines were off the coast of Virginia and how far away those missiles were from Washington. And I kept track of where the Russian missiles were in Europe and in the Soviet Union. And the one thing I convinced myself of after all these years of exposure to the use of nuclear weapons is that they were useless, they cannot be used. The real threat now is not from states that understand that you cannot use these weapons without inviting suicidal response, but terrorists who do not care about suicidal response, terrorists who are prepared to commit suicide themselves. And so it is important at this point in our international history that we all come together behind this initiative that you're going to hear about to make sure that we start a process that will lead to the reduction in the number of nuclear weapons that exist in the arsenals of the world now that will deter other nations from moving forward on nuclear weapons programs, but above all, will capture and contain the elements that are out there, the devices that are out there, the technology that is out there, the uranium and plutonium sources that may be out there that a terrorist could get his hands on to try to develop a rudimentary or real nuclear weapon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a very powerful and moving film. It's now an opportunity to put your questions uh, to the panel. I just might begin by saying that since we were planning this event, uh, we've had the uh, Arab Spring, the Japanese tsunami, and the death of bin Laden. Amazing events which have rippled right uh, across the world. And just to put in context these issues of nuclear power and nuclear energy, just only yesterday, two statements were made to the United Kingdom Parliament. Firstly, confirming our intention for peaceful use of nuclear power, the next generation of uh, reactors. And secondly, probably more critically, uh, the intention to replace our Trident submarine fleet of, uh, of our nuclear deterrent. Just 160, a uh, stockpile of 160 warheads out of a total of 20,000 in the world. So events do move swiftly. Enough from me. Thank you very much once again to our panel. I think we'll just open it straight up to uh, the audience, who I understand it's almost like a reunion. All the people here know each other so well. Uh, but do please, if you could, just um, uh, say your name, just so we can see where you're coming from. Tom King's already caught my eye.